Hey, this is Anthony with Land Title, and I just came to bring you an update for May on the Superior Market. Um, as you all are probably aware, it's a pretty wild and crazy time out there. Keep in mind that these year-over-year -year variances don't really mean anything at this point because we were in the middle of a shutdown pandemic, stay-at-home orders last year. Um, we'll get back to those here soon. But for right now, you can see just an amazing amount of under contracts taking place. We're having a dip in supply again, and I think the biggest reason for the supply staying just astronomically low, you can see we were at two units at the end, is things are just moving off the market so quickly. So we have decreased amount of sales in the month, but that's because we didn't have enough come on the market, not enough go under contract last month, but our under contracts are way up. So that's gonna bounce around all year, but expect strong, strong sales numbers out of Superior, outside of the fact that it's super limited by supply. Here's our average sales price, 961 in Superior to really approach that million dollar mark. And uh, it should bounce around quite a bit because we just don't have the composition of sales we're looking for. So when we look kind of at the average sales price, we wanna look at a longer term picture. But as you can see um, through, you know, the end of <clears throat> 2020, all the way through current is a pretty high, high line, right? Like these things are going up um, at a really, really fast rate, much faster than we would see in a traditional sense from uh, whether it's Superior or Colorado, right? Normal appreciation for Colorado is about five and a half percent per year, every year for, you know, last 40, 50 years. And we're probably easily into the double digit numbers. So these numbers are going to continue to rise in Superior, but it's not too late to get into the market because there will be stuff coming on the market. You, know, you can see in April, we had a huge surge of inventory and uh, May is back down to a little bit more normal rate. The biggest problem is it doesn't look like we're gonna have the huge numbers that we had in June, July, and August, just because that's a lot of pent up sellers. They're kind of holding off because of COVID last year. So um, what's gonna happen in the superior market is less sales out of the peak of the season, and hopefully just some consistent volume coming on the market. So those buyers and sellers can you know start swapping some houses again. If you look at the month supply of inventory, this is one of the worst markets as far as what's available to go buy if you're a buyer. If you're a seller, great news for you. You definitely are gonna win on this one, but where a balanced market sits somewhere around, you know, four months of inventory and we're sitting somewhere around 0.1, um, this is basically long enough for a bidding war to take place. So that is concerning. It's great if you're a seller, get your home on the market, you know, sometime soon because that will definitely allow you to help out um, and really t capitalize and take advantage of the bidding wars that are taking place. If you're a buyer, know that there's a lot of buyer demand in the superior market. You can see with this number trending down, these average days on market, it's, leave, it's at 16 again. So what that number really reflects is how many buyers are in the market, how quick is the market moving? And when we're looking at a market where, you know, 16 is, you know, less than 30. This is active to sold. Um, this number is astronomically low. And so bouncing around anywhere under that, you know, 30, 40 day mark, um, it's to be expected, but that number can't really go a whole lot lower because it takes about 10 days for a cash offer to close. And it takes about, you know, four days to get something under contract and off the MLS. So these numbers are about as low as they can go and they can get a little bit lower, but not by a ton. So if you have any other questions on the superior market, please let me know. I'm always here to help. I'm Anthony at Land Title, and we'll catch you in the next video.